Things are so crazy with the idea of burning trash that other countries are exporting their trash to Sweden. This should be alarming to a lot of these countries, right? This means that there's too much trash in Europe and there's one country burning all of it. It's, it's a business. We import approximately 800,000 tons uh, yearly. We sell a service. It's mainly uh, Norway, the UK, Ireland, Italy. What we have here is uh, imported uh, English household waste. Each one of these weighs about uh, 700 kilos, which corresponds to 200-250 kilos of fuel, oil in energy terms. So there's a lot of energy here. Sweden is working hard to reduce or at least maintain the effects of climate change so we don't burn up. The planet might think of us as trash and one day burn us up for energy to restore itself with. We should probably not let it get that bad. Sweden is also burning H&M clothing. As of 2017, they have 15 tons of hipster attire that is being burned for energy. The concern is not just making sure no moldy clothes get burned, but also to ensure that the, these clothes have the least amount of pretension acceptable by law. The reason why H&M clothing winds up as trash isn't because of quality, but it's because of price. Since it's cheaper, it's perfect for burning, so it's basically the trashy people of clothing. Currently, with the popularity of this plan, Dubai is planning on building the largest waste energy plant in the world. This is to compete with China's waste to energy plant that plans on burning over 5,000 tons of waste to generate electricity and create renewable energy for solar panels. And if the pattern of things continue, that means that America will be starting a war over garbage in the next decade. And this is going to give a whole new meaning to the term dirty bomb.